All right, now we are moving on to probably the most important process of this entire pre-production, which is the location scouting process. And generally there's two different ways this is going to happen. And one is much more common than the other, especially now how times are changing, but you're either gonna be scouting them physically. So you're actually gonna go to the location. More often than not, you're gonna go with the director and the locations manager and maybe the producer, but really just those two. The other way to do it, which is the common way to do it, is you're gonna do it over Zoom. You're gonna get stills in Dropbox. The location manager's gonna send them to you. They're gonna get passed around. The director, everybody's gonna get a say, producer. There'll be one main folder that you go to, you look at the stills, and then you chime in. At this stage, especially if you're doing the, uh, not the physical one, so you're looking at just photos, really important if there are any red flags that you chime in before anybody else. Because what is going to happen is every department is going to have their pros and cons for certain locations. And if you don't get them in, if you aren't the squeaky wheel, uh, those will get railroaded. You'll get just get run over. And by the time you do chime in, it'll already be too late. You've gone past the point of no return. They, they've shown them to the clients. The clients really love them. And then you find yourself uh, in the back seat, basically. And that is not where you want to be. So you want to be, if anything, in this section, talking about location scouting process. If you take anything away from it, take away the speed idea. Get your ideas in as fast as you can. Be as proactive as you can in getting the location that you want, especially on a commercial like this. Because this is day exterior. This is 100% the look of the commercial will come down to the location. And then the, the next important thing is the schedule relative to the location. So absolutely paramount that you are on the ball when the location scouting process comes along. Either way, whether it's stills, which is uh, you know not my preferred, because generally you have to go in between someone to, to talk with the director. I mean, you can go back and forth with the director over email or have that Zoom call. But really, if you're there on the day, uh, you'll be able to spot things that the location manager might have missed, the person, whoever they send out, whether it's the PA or somebody like that, to get the stills. You'll be able to do a whole lot more if you're actually on the ground there. The problem is that that very rarely happens because they got to pay you to go out there. Uh, some production companies, they just, you, you come on too late and the process has already started, so you gotta play catch up, but very rare that you physically get to go out there. But that is changing uh, slowly but surely with uh, all of the new protocols that are in place for health and safety. Uh, sometimes you get out there a little bit earlier, which can be nice. So this section is all about what to do. We're gonna go through both options. So I'm gonna show you an example of how I would look at this job if it was through stills uh, that are in Dropbox or something like that, a shared folder. Then we're actually gonna go out to the location uh, like we would with the director and the location manager and just take a look, take a look at some of the different angles and decide what is going to be the most beneficial because there's always in commercial cinematography, there's always tiers that you have to take into account or tranches, different tranches where you have to say, okay, this is my number one preferred location. It doesn't work for anybody else, for parking, for crew, for art department. But from a cinematographer's point of view, this is number one. Uh, and then you have number two, which sort of is general and works for everybody, but it's not as good as for you as number one. So you just have to break them down into these groups and very rarely will you will everybody be getting their number one pick, right? The director may have one idea, you might have one idea, the producer might have another idea. So it's just breaking them down and realizing, okay, what are the pros and cons with each of these? And can I deal with the cons in each of these, right? The pros you can always deal with, but the cons, is it so bad that we can't come back from it? Or does the director need to know that we can't do A, B, or C because of a location like this? So really important, now is the time to communicate, be quick, come with a story, which we're gonna talk about in the next section. Uh, and it really is the process that will, once you go, once you decide, there's no going back, right? So this is very important that you be on your A game when it comes to the location scouting process.